doing is something I normally don't do. I'm doing a top round steak. We're going to uh, crust it with salt, black pepper, um, and we're also going to make a nice marinade, which I got from all recipes. And in the marinade is vegetable oil, uh, soy sauce, lemon juice, Worcestershire sauce. I know, I said it wrong. Dijon mustard, garlic mince, salt, and ground black pepper. So let's get this going here. So we're going to start off with our minced garlic. One clove. And then they're asking for uh, a cup of vegetable oil. There's a cup of vegetable oil. Now they want a three quarters of a cup of soy sauce. Well, the cat's watching you. All right. It's like you're teaching the cat. Now they're looking for a half a cup of lemon juice. Half a cup of lemon juice. Half a cup of lemon juice. This is going to make a lot of marinade. I might actually save this and use this for something else. And we're looking for a quarter cup of Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire. Yeah. Quarter cup. Quarter cup. Going in. Next is a quarter cup of Dijon mustard. Now I happen to have no Dijon mustard. I have this bourbon molasses mustard. And I read the ingredients and it does say mustard, vinegar, turmeric, uh, spices, vinegar, water, sugar, brown, sugar, molasses, Dijon mustard. So we're going to do a little bit of that. Quarter cup they're saying. And this is going to be a big guesstimation here. I think it might be two of these spoonfuls. Maybe a little bit more. If you didn't have that, you put in bourbon and mustard. No. Next, the, uh, it says the garlic, which is already in there. You saw that earlier. Salt and uh, ground black pepper to taste. I don't know why you would taste it because it's a marinade, but yeah, whatever. We'll throw some in there. I guess that's probably a teaspoon, maybe, something like that. And we'll try this sea salt. Maybe we won't. Maybe we'll just get this regular salt because I don't have it open. Uh, yeah, there we go. Now we got it to taste. I'm not tasting now. I'm going to tell you that much right now. And we have to whisk it. How we're making our marinade and again that's a little too much for this steak we're going to put it in a resealable bag and let it in there for probably uh, I would guess two hours or as long as it takes all right we'll see you when we get out to the grill bye welcome back the steak has been marinated uh, about two hours two hours and 15 minutes um, I'm sorry not even two, two, two hours and 45 minutes holy mackerel so now we're going to crust this baby up with some sea salt and some fresh uh, ground pepper. We're just going to lightly sprinkle, well not lightly, we're going to liberally sprinkle some salt on there. I am keeping the marinade on. You might call me crazy, but I'm alright with that. Fresh cracked black pepper. Let's get that grind. Uh, oh, it is pretty coarse. Let's go up one more notch. And we're going to do this to both sides. And this, uh, I said we were going to grill this. Actually, it's uh, pretty often on rainy day, so I'm going to have to uh, use my new 41 inch electric master built smoker. So that's what we do, we're doing. Let me get myself a fork so I can flip this over. Oh, baby. And this top round steak is much more tender even now after coming out of that marinade. Uh, from what I'm reading and understand the um, the um, lemon juice in there, the acidity, acidity um, helps to tenderize it. 
And I've heard other people say it almost cooks it too. There we go. I never had sea salt here at home before, I don't think. We're going to see what this is like. There we are. There we go. And uh, yeah, shortly that uh, master belt smoker ought to be up to temp and we'll be able to slap this baby in there and see what goes on. Never done it before on that. So we'll see you then. All right. We're up to temp. I set it for 225. It's fluctuating between 225 and 260. That's showing you the hours. I just set it for a generic amount of hours. Um, I just threw some hickory chips in. We got some smoke coming out of the top, so we're going to open this baby up. And there we are. And this is the one that you can uh, you can go away and check it out on your phone and change temperatures and do some other stuff. Uh, I won't be getting into that today. Um, but yeah. Oh, you know what? What's neat about this? These racks slide out. Oh, baby, baby. That's nice. There we go. You ever done a steak on a smoker? Here we go. We're going to try it. And uh, we're going to take this until it's about, I want to say, 110. Whoops. Let me close that up. 110. And then uh, I'm going to do a reverse sear on it later on inside the house in a cast iron pan. We'll see you then. All right, the steak reached about 145, 46, something like that, out in the smoker. It took no time. I don't even remember what time I put it on, but I'm telling you, it's like, it felt like it was 20 minutes, and it's already probably past where we want. So now what we're going to do is we just put some salt, some sea salt, and some pepper on, and more on. We're going to lay it down in the pan, give it a little reverse sear, get some color on it. Probably about a minute or two each side and uh, while it's in that on that side we're going to take and add some pepper and salt to this side so when we flip it over we'll just go it does smell good I have to admit when we flip it over we're going to throw some butter on that bad boy too all right I believe she's done on the other side that's some nice caramelization. I'll take that. We don't want to over well, we probably already did over cover. We don't want to make it work. Now we'll get ourselves a little bit of butter. This ain't my steak. This is my lumberjack in law steak. But I'm sure he's going to let me taste a little just to uh, see if it's good enough. I'm going to put a little butter over the top of that baby. Gonna throw this down in the pan, get ourselves a spoon. And I saw Gordon Ramsay do this. You get in the pan and you start spooning all those juices up over the top. Oh, baby. I don't feel as good as Gordon Ramsay though. He's like a robot to him. And we're gonna click it off. We'll um, take the pan over to our cutting board. And we're gonna let it rest. And then we'll dig into it in about 10 or 15 minutes. All right. The steak is resting 10 or 15 minutes, and again, this is the top round. We can see our grain is running this way, so we're going to cut it across like this. It smells pretty good. Again, I think it might be overcooked, but who knows, maybe it's tender in there, I don't know. The knife's going through pretty good. Oh, we got a nice pink in the middle. That is beautiful. Sorry to hit you guys there. Whoops. Don't cut across the fork, Tom. Look at that. It's not pulling apart like a brisket or nothing. But I'll tell you what. 
pretty easy to chew. Very tasty. A little bit too salty, maybe. Mmm. I'm good. Thanks a lot for watching. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe, and uh, look for the recipe down in the description box. Bye.